Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be bringing you guys this pink glittery eyeshadow look. I really hope you guys enjoy it as much as I enjoy doing it for you. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. If you really like this video, go ahead and share it and give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about any of the products that I use, go ahead and comment it in the section below. Also, if you haven't added me on my Instagram, go ahead and add me on my Instagram. I am under Wendy091 with three Ys. So without further ado, let's get started on this video. So first, I'm gonna go ahead and open my beer. So today I'm gonna try to do a very glittery brown eye, good for the holidays. Um, I'm gonna be using the Artist and the Muse palette and then I'm gonna go in with Beauty Creations and Glitters, which is a little bit like this. Um, and then I'll just tell you guys along the way. So we're gonna start off with I'm using this Sephora brush. It's the it's called the Crease Shadow 73. So it's a fluffy blending brush. It's super soft um, and it applies very well on here. So we're gonna go in with our base color, which is this one right here called So Many Paparazzi's. Very light color, white. Um, I like to choose colors that are matching to my eye, that match my eye color as my as my base. I always like to do a base just so that everything can blend out perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start and add it to the eye. And this one's gonna go all over my eyelid. I like to tap um, to make sure that it adds very nicely and very, very soft, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna be applying this all over my eyelid. like that. I'm gonna go to my other eye and do the same. So this one as you can tell it has no color because it's really close to my eyelid color. It's just my face coat, nothing special, not really color, just to make sure that it's gonna give us that base to really blend everything out the way we want it to. Make sure we don't have any creases. And I did already apply my foundation, my bronzer, um, I did my eyebrows, and then at the end of the video, I'll go back and I'll do more contour to just really get that darkness in there. Now that we applied our base coat, we're gonna go in with the Morphe 433, which is one of the one of my favorite blending brushes. And we're gonna go in with the darker color in the same Mario and Kim palette called Don't Move, which is this color here. It's a light brown, almost beige color. So for this, we're gonna go ahead and swirl it. We're gonna go ahead and tap anything extra and we're gonna do it on the crease area of our eye and same thing I always like to tap into it to add the color once the color is where I want it then I'll go ahead and do either um, swiping motions or I'll go ahead and do circles to make sure that I blend everything out so we're gonna go ahead and tap everything where I want it to be which is in the outer crease I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit more because it is a soft color I can go ahead and add more I could layer more and more till it gives us that darker color that I that I'm that I want. So I'm gonna make sure that I do the outer crease area because that's where I want it to be darker. And as you guys can tell, I'm just tapping, tapping, tapping. I'm gonna grab a little bit more because I really want it to be dark so that when I'm blending it out, it's there's enough shade to blend. Now that I have enough color, I'm gonna go ahead and blend it towards the inner corner of my eye. And I'm gonna be doing everything. I'm gonna be doing the crease and I'm gonna be doing above my crease. I do have hooded eyes and I just think that's a better look for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start swirling as I'm moving into the inner corner of my eye windshield swiping motion and then making sure we go back to the top making sure that we get the top of my crease and add some color to my eye as you guys can see we're leaving the eyelid really clean because that's where our glitter is going to go just like that so you guys can tell my this color is going up high 
it's going up and it's going high because this is what's going to show me where my next color is going to be applied which is going to be a little bit lower and we're really just going to go ahead and blend everything out i think that's the trick with any eyeshadow we don't want no harsh lines so you're going to go ahead and circle 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 windshield 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 just like that and i'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to my other eye okay now that we have the dark color that we want on both eyes we're going to go in with a darker color i'm going to be switching brushes it's still going to be a morphe m433 brush but i want a cleaner one the reason why is because i'm going to go in with the darker brown on here and then i'm going to go back in with the lighter brush which is this one i'm going to go ahead and blend that out i don't want to get this one dirty and then when i'm blending it's really looking darker instead of kind of mixing between both so another morphe m44 m433 brush and i'm going to go in with this darker color same in the kim and mario palette and this one's called m inspired which is a darker brown right here i'm going to go ahead and pick it up with my morphe m433 we're going to go ahead and swirl swirl and then we're going to go ahead and tap away now because it is darker color we want to make sure that we are really focusing on where we're adding it because we don't want it to get you know out of place we don't want it to get dirty we don't want it to get out of the way and messy so we want to make sure that just like we do with the lighter brown we're going to go ahead and just tap it into the area that we want it i'm going to grab a little bit more for some reason it's not big enough And I'm just gonna kind of very softly see where I'm putting it. I want to know where my eyeshadow is going. And the only way is by adding a little bit and then moving it as we want. So right there, same thing, crease, outer. We want to keep the eyelid very clean. We also want to know what color it's it's becoming because a lot of times it might be very light and then you put it on it's very dark that's the reason why we apply different layers and we make sure that um, we're testing it as we're going so there that's what i wanted i wanted a dark color now that the dark is there we're going to go ahead and blend towards the inner corner of our eye very soft with a very soft hat so we're not going to press and carve very hard we're going to slowly just bring it in so you could give us that um, blending effect so very light handed windshield motion for this one we don't want to get too high up we just want to stay above the crease we do want to get some above the crease because we're going to be blending but we want to Make sure we don't go up too high up here. We want to kind of leave it right right there. And then we're making sure that we're getting our edges to our ends here. Okay, now that I have my desired look, I'm going to go in back with the M433 brush that I used with the Don't Move color, which was that lighter brown that beige looking color since this one has a lighter color and it's more clean because i didn't i'm not adding no more product i'm going to go ahead and just this color that's right there i'm going to go ahead and just very lightly go over to make sure that it's blending nicely and that it's blurring to the top of our eyebrow so it's kind of like cleaning but blending at the same time and a very light hand just like that I'm gonna go ahead and do the same to my other eye so I'm gonna grab that I'm inspired clean off the excess start at the outer corner really mark where I want my eyeshadow to go where I want it to be applied and how dark I want it to be now that I got my desired look, I'm going to go ahead and start blending it towards the inner corner of my eye. Now that my desired color is there, I'm going to go back in with the Morphe M433 brush and I'm going to go ahead and clean the top and make sure that I'm blending everything together so it can be very nicely. Okay, 
Now we're gonna go ahead and go in with our glitter from Beauty Creation. Um, they're little glitters, little jars with glitter. They come with different colors. They're, depending on where you go in San Jose, I think they were $6 each. Here in Sacramento, I think they're $5 each. Or you can buy the whole collection, which is something that I did. Um, this is a very nice pink color, which is what I'm gonna be using with the brown that I used from the Kim and Mario palette. So we're gonna go ahead and apply this, but first before we go ahead and apply, we're gonna go ahead and grab your concealer of your choice, and we're gonna um, clean the eyelid with a Morphe M224, which is a flat brush, like that. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's a flat brush. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna apply some of our concealer, and it doesn't have to be perfect because the glitter is gonna kind of clean everything up for you. We're just gonna make sure we're cleaning it but the glitter is really just gonna be there. We wanna make sure that the glitter pops, that's where we're gonna clean. So we're just gonna grab a little bit as you see in there, and then we're gonna go ahead and apply it to your eyelid. I'm only gonna bring it halfway, but it really is up to you on how much you wanna blend it towards. You can do your whole eyelid, you can do half of your eyelid. I'm only doing half. As you can see right here. Right about. Right about there. Right about there. Because I do want the brown to be noticeable as well. So I'm just going to leave it right there. And I'm going to be doing the same to my other eyelid. Okay. Now that I made sure that both of my eyes are about the same amount of concealer and that it's clean about the same way, we're gonna go in with the Morphe brush. Now, I don't know what brush this is because the numbers faded away, but it's little, the bristles are very small compared to a regular which are longer. The reason why is because I want them that small so I can apply in smaller portions. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys the trick on how to apply glitter. You're gonna grab a lime and you're gonna grab your brush and you're gonna head and just rub it on there like that and then that's gonna be the glue to your eye. Now that it's been cleaned and soaked, we're gonna go, <laughs> go ahead and put it in here. And look, it got glitter. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your glitter glue. This one is from City Color. It's Sparkle and Shine Glitter Primer. I did buy it at the store where they sold me the Beauty Creations glitter. Um, it's, it's in an eyeliner form. I'm gonna apply it in smaller sections. So we're gonna start with our inner corner. And it's for that same reason, because we wanna make sure that we know where we're going. With makeup, we always wanna know where the makeup is going. Because even though you're controlling it, it's doing whatever it wants. Now we're gonna go with our lemon glue. And we're gonna go ahead and just apply it like that. I'm gonna go ahead and do that all over our eyelid. So you can grab another portion here, another piece. We're gonna put more lemon in our brush and then we're gonna put it in our glitter jar. And we're gonna go ahead and just apply it very lightly like that. And what that's gonna do is gonna make the glitter apply to your eye and not your brush. And I'm just kidding about the lemon. <laughs> The lemon is for my beer. I'm not putting lemon in my brushes. Send the heat and check. I'm just kidding. The way to add glitter to your brush is in a little bottle cap, you're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of water and you're gonna grab your brush. So you're gonna dip your, your brush into the water and you're gonna clean off any extra water, and you're gonna tap it on your arm. The reason why I use water, it's because it's gonna, it's gonna grab your glitter in a nice, in a nice way, and it's gonna let you put it on your eyelid because your eyelid has glue. A lot of people they'll put glue on their brush and then they'll put glue on their eyelid, and then the glitter doesn't want to get off the brush because the brush has glue which is not in our case. Our brush has water. Go ahead and tap, 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 tap. Put 
perfect. So it's gonna be, it's gonna look like this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same to my other eye. So again, we're gonna grab our glue. We're gonna start the inner corner of our eye. And we're gonna do a little bit at a time that way we can know where our makeup is going. In this case, it's our glitter. We're gonna grab our brush, dip it in a little bit of water, clean any extra on your hand, you dip it in your glitter, and then you're gonna tap it in your eye. We're gonna give it a couple of minutes while your eyes start drying. Now that our eyes have glitter, Glitter, glitter. We're gonna go in with that darker M433. We're gonna grab a little bit more of the Artist and the Muse, which is the Mario, the Kim Times Mario palette. Grab a little bit of the darker shade called I'm Inspired. Tap the extra, and we're just gonna go ahead and lightly throw some taps over the glitter, but also in the outer corner to really get dark color. So you can't really mix the glitter and the dark eyeshadow. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna tap, tap, tap. And it's gonna do its best. And we're gonna do both, we're gonna do the same to both eyes. Just like that. Now, to complete the look, we're gonna go ahead and add eyelashes and eyeliner. I'm gonna go in and put in the Mink Lashes, which are Mink 3D hair lashes that look like this. And I'll show you guys in a minute how they end up. Okay, now that we have our eyelashes all on, we're gonna go in with our eyeliner. This is the Black Sephora eyeliner. Those of you guys who watch my video know that I've been using this eyeliner since I was 13 and still in stock at Sephora.com. I think it's only about $12. So we're gonna go ahead and put on my eyeliner and I'll be right back because when I have falsies, I do struggle a little bit more to put on my eyeliner. Well, I do struggle when I have my eyelashes because when I don't have my eyelashes, I don't struggle. I can do my eyeliner in like two minutes and in the car if you haven't watched my YouTube video. Okay, so I've applied my eyelashes and my eyeliner. It's, it's all pretty there. We're gonna go in with the mascara, which is from L'Oreal. You can buy it at Walmart, I think it's like $7. This is the color black. I think it's uh, it's called black is black. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add mascara to really mix or blend or whatever you want to call both of my eyelashes together. That way you can't see that I'm wearing falsies, even though you're able to know that I'm wearing falsies. So I'm just gonna go and kind of smush them together. I guess that's a word. <laughs> and I'm only gonna go up to until where my real eyelashes go. I'm not gonna go to the end because I don't want. And I want them to look too dramatic. Just like that. Now that I've, I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and clean my eye again for any glitter fallout. So this is my, this is my powder brush. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of clean everything off. I mean, I'm still gonna have glitter, but what can I say? I'm gonna go in with a Morphe M210 brush, which is um, a flat brush, just, um, a flat brush. I'm gonna go into the Artist and the Muse palette again, which is the Kim and Mario palette. And I'm gonna choose one of the colors to put in my under eye. I'm gonna really give it a dark eye look, so I'm, so I'm gonna go in with I'm Inspired, which is that dark chocolate color here. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it on both sides of my brush, tap any extra, and go in. I'm gonna try to do the outer corner here. I'm gonna go in with a thicker line, and then as I get closer to my inner corner, I'm gonna try to really just do a thinner line that way it can give me like that cat eye um, effect. So here I'm gonna go in Thinner and then right at the inner of my eye, I'm actually just gonna kind of go inside my eye. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring it all the way to the top of my eyeliner. Like that. 
And I'm gonna do the same to my other eye. Now we can go to the fun part. I'm gonna add highlight to this beautiful look. I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M213, which is a very teeny eeny beeny brush here. This is gonna be our, um, we're gonna highlight our eyebrows. So I'm gonna go in with the Jacqueline Hill palette. Zoom, focus, hello. Oh, too much light. Anyways, we're gonna go in with the Jacqueline Hill palette here. And we want a bright color. So we're gonna go in with Iced, which is this one here. It's kind of has like a pink undertone, very light. So we're gonna go ahead and just tee -tee 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 tap any extra. And we're gonna go ahead and apply. I'm not gonna do my whole eyebrow. I'm gonna do from the arch of my eyebrow to the end. So I'm gonna start here. It's gonna be very thick, tee -tee -tee -tee, and then it's gonna get thin there. So here we're gonna kind of do a thicker, and we're gonna go thinner there, just like that. I'm gonna grab my spoolie. I'm gonna clean the eyebrow in case it got any glitter, like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing to my other. So grab color ice, which is this pink undertone top corner here. And we're gonna go halfway. Cause we want it to pop. Like we want it to be able to see that you have highlighter in your eyebrow. We're gonna, and then here at the end, we're gonna kind of thin it out. And our spoolie and clean. Okay, we do want everything to flow together. So we're gonna grab another Morphe brush, which is the Morphe E36. Um, it, this one's a smaller, it's a small brush, but it's round. So it's kind of like a round tip. I don't know if you guys can see, but it has more of a round tip. This is gonna be in my inner corner. We're gonna be using the same color iced here, which is that from the Jaclyn Hill highlight palette, because I want everything to kind of just flow together. So we're gonna grab some of the tip just like this. And then we're same thing, we're gonna tap anything extra and we're just gonna put it in the inner corner. Some people like to call it the tear something. We want it to pop because your girl wants it to be popping. The more, the better. like that. Now that that is there, we're gonna go and add our highlighter to our cheeks. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and add some more contour to my um, to my cheekbones. The reason why is because before I started the video, I did contour my face, um, but I really want the makeup to let me know where it's going. Um, and in the process of knowing where it's going, I want to know how dark it's gonna be. So I did do my contour first, but it's telling me I need more. So I'm gonna go in with my NARS contour, which is in color Laguna. And I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M405 brush here, which is a contour brush. I'm gonna go ahead and just grab some. And then same thing, I like to tap, tap on and then tap on my face so you can let me know where it's going. Cause I want it to be dark. So I wanna tap, I don't wanna blend. I did a lot of blending before, so I just wanna really darken that area that needs to be darkened. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. You, can, you can't even tell. See, you can tell, you can't tell. So just... The good thing is that earlier, when I did put it on, I seen where it was going, so I had like a light shade of where it's supposed to go, so I kind of just go in there and I just tap. Because earlier I had blended it out, I don't need to blend it anymore. All I'm doing is just adding extra color to it. I'm just popping it because it's already going to be blended. If that makes sense. Dee, 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 dee. Now that I have that done and in position, 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 I'm going to go in with the Jacqueline Hill again. 
this is the morphe r36 which is the rose gold collection for this one which one should i put should i put the same one should i put iced let me put this pink one called mesmerized this one's a pinkish i don't have blush i don't use blush but for this look i think i need something more of a blushy color so what better than a highlighted blush so let me grab some tap anything extra put it on top Ooh. look how beautiful that is mm -hmm. same to the other oops and then of course our nose i'm gonna go with that highlight I can highlight my nose for days. A little bit here. Why not? The more you highlight, the more you go. Now for lipstick. Because we're going to be sending kisses everywhere we go. What should we do for lipstick? Now, I am using the Artisan and the Muse. The Artisan and the Muse. So I should use their lip liner and their lip collection. Why not? It would only make sense. I don't have it with me. It is in my Jeep, I believe. So I'm going to use something very similar. So I'm going to go in with... Hmm. I'm going to go in with Crush, which is Morphe. Morphe by Crush. Put lip liner. So it's a, it's a purpley color. Now, I'm gonna go in with um, Heezy Mixer, which is from the Artist and the Muse collection. I did find their lip liner, their lip gloss. It was a trio and then their palette, which um, you guys can see one of my old videos. When it first came out, I did a, um, it wasn't a review, it was kind of more of a, let me try on this look, look what I bought video. But I love the, the duo. I get a lot of compliments everywhere I go when I wear the lip liner, um, the lipstick, and the lip gloss. Everywhere I go, I always get compliments. I think they tried to, um, I think some of my friends actually have tried to buy it, but I think they ran out. I don't know. Yes, queen. Look how beautiful that is. Now, I'm going to go ahead and blend it by adding a little bit more lip liner. Okay, I'm going to clean out the inner corners with my Morphe M410, which is a flat brush and concealer. I'm going to grab a little bit on here. Ding, ding, ding. And just really go in there and clean anything that came out of place. just like that. So this brings you guys to the end of my video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoy doing it for you guys. If you guys have any questions on what are the products I use, I try to put everything um, like as I'm applying it. But if I missed something or I didn't mention anything, let me know in the comment section below. It is very important that you guys share this video, guys. If you like them, let your friends know. I'm going to try to be posting up more makeup videos, especially now that the holidays are coming. It is very hard because I'm a mom. 
Um, but thankfully, I'm no longer working, so I am a full-time mom. But it is a lot of work, especially when you work for, I don't know, I've worked for like seven years. So I'm really just organizing my house, my yard, my plants. I have a lot going on today. I'm like, I need to kind of step moment down and just really try to take some time to do what I like which is being on camera with you guys I try not to stress about anything else so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video share it um, that helps out a lot if you're new go ahead and subscribe to my channel and let me know what kind of video you like to watch so thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in my next video bye